Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home. My name's Greg. Recently, we were contacted by Jack Reed to test one of their newest products, the Explorer 1000 Portable Power Station. Uh, we've done some tests. Right up here is a link to those tests that we've done so far. But we're getting ready to go out again this weekend, and I want to set the trailer up to where I can uh, run the, all the outlets inside the trailer just off the Jackery. To do that, I'm going to have to uh, shut the converter off that uh, charges the batteries at the front of the trailer. Along with, I want to be able to disable the AC going to the refrigerator so I'm not trying to charge the refrigerator at the same time. Uh, I want to optimize how much I can use at the outlets and I just filled up the propane bottle so I'm not worried about that for the refrigerator. So what I'm going to do is we're going to run inside, we're going to figure out what circuits operate the converter, also the refrigerator. Once we get those figured out, we'll come back out, we're going to go ahead and shut down the AC to the trailer, we're going to unplug the shore power, we'll make sure it's dead, we'll go inside, and we're going to go ahead and add a breaker to this to create a whole new circuit just for those two. So I can go in, I can flip that off, plug the jackery in, and then I can be able to supply power to all the outlets within the trailer. This way I don't have to move the jackery around or anything like that, use any extension cords or anything, and I can get the most out of it. So let's go inside, let's figure out what we're going to do. So yes, I did cheat a little bit. I already know which uh, circuit the converter is on, and it actually is the same circuit with most of my outlets. So that's why I do have to split my split the circuit. Um, later on, we can get into the automatic transfer switches and everything like that as we grow. But right now, the only thing that we have to power the trailer is just the 12 volt batteries for the 12 volt side and then a regular fuel generator to run everything else. With this Jackery, we can sit there, we can plug it in, we can operate some of the stuff that does not draw that much. This is a 1000 watt uh, power supply unit that we're testing. So let's get down. We'll start flipping switches, figure out what's what, and then we'll dig into getting this branched out. Just so happens underneath our refrigerator is where our power station lives. So like I say, I know that this switch right here, third one down, 15 amp, is uh, the one for the converter. Gen it says converter generator and also my outlets. So I do have the GFI one down here available. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this one right here first. So as we see right there on our switch for the refrigerator, it changed too. So it appears that that switch right there also handles the refrigerator. So we'll need to look at that also. Try to uh, get the refrigerator and the converter onto the same circuit. Now I got two blanks down here that I can have access to. I'm going to go ahead and take this door off. To do that all you have to do is just kind of flex it and it'll come out of its tracks. So let me get this cover off. I'll bring you back and see if we can't figure out what's what. I've got a multimeter here. Um, I feel confident in using, uh, playing with electricity. If you don't, please have somebody that knows electrical do this. All right, we've got the 110 off. We've confirmed it. So now let's go ahead and pull this out. Yes, 12 volt was still live. So be careful if you do it this way. All right. So I'll give you a kind of a backside look at it. This is your uh, negative for your DC, positive for your DC. This is your shoreline coming in. These are the circuits going out to the various things along with these two that's your ground then these right here are going to be 
DC cables going out to supply DC to other components in the trailer or to go to for your lights for your switches uh, your water pumps so let me swing this back around start looking see what uh, we've got for uh, what goes to where and see if we can't get the refrigerator and that DC converter put to a new circuit well done some looking done some checking on this for me to get the refrigerator and the converter on its own circuit is going to take a little bit I'll show you what I got to do now right here this beautiful beautiful job of screwing one of these funky outlets that they put in RVs today if you don't know what I'm talking about right here is a link to my autopsy of an RV outlet one of them sitting right there and it almost looks like or it is one of the two one of the first outlets in this on the circuit so what that means is I can't just disconnect this and put it on its own circuit because it still would go and kill the rest of it so what that means is I actually have to pull a new wire right here and put that to the new circuit I'm going to put in what I'm going to do is this now I went and picked up a surface mounted box I'm going to remove get you in there I'm going to remove this outlet which I don't like anyways stick this in its place I'm going to take these two wires right here and I am going to wire nut them together so I'm just going to make a continuous loop to feed the rest of the outlets now for me I'm lucky enough that right here is the area right behind my uh, breaker panel control panel so I can pop a little hole there run a new wire from the controller excuse me from the control panel that new new circuit that I'm putting in right over here and put and put that plug dedicated to that circuit and not lose the rest of the outlets in the trailer of course I will silicone up the hole that I create after I put the wire in so no critters get in there and no water gets in there but so that is where we're at so I'm gonna start getting some of this stuff going I'll be in and out on the video showing you the different things as I progress all right onwards and upwards Let me uh, throw a warning out. This is not a how-to video. This is what I did video. I feel confident in working with electricity, especially AC and DC, both. So I'm doing it. If you are not comfortable with doing this, take it to somebody that knows what they're doing, okay? There it is. That's my warning, okay? Otherwise, boom, jump in. Disconnect it, I cut it. So one of these is power from the uh, power center, and the other one goes to the outlets. We're just gonna slap this box up there. Got a knockout punch. We'll put these through, tighten it up. The new wire is gonna come through this side. We'll get this thing wired up. Now what I got is a Forstner bit, half inch in size. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything's out of the way. I also remember that, that the gas side of the propane is, or the gas side of the refrigerator is on because I gotta keep it cool. So I gotta be careful not to get anything in the way that's gonna cause fire by getting too close to the flames or 
uh, hit something and cause a major problem. So I gotta be very careful. But I'm gonna take this Forstner bit, and if you can see right here, I'm gonna punch a hole. Like I said, luckily right down here is where that center is, you know, the power distribution center is. So that, nice. Yours might be different, but. So now all I gotta do is go and mount it right here and uh, run the wires, tighten those up. Connect these two wires together and then connect this one to the new outlet. Second, and back in again. We got another stubby in there. There it is. Put a little cover plate on. Grab the stuff out of here, and this part's done. Put all the stuff I don't want to lose in my pockets. I got so many pockets, I'll lose it in my pockets. But, okay, back in, and we can plug that back in. Just like that. And I guess if we so much wanted, we got spare, uh, outlet right there if we ever need one out here you know got one on the other side so get everything turned around swung around get back inside we'll get this thing uh, finished up and test it out so to give you an idea 
here's the wire that we brought in. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to get it to cleaned up in there so it does look nice. You know, got to admit they did uh, do a halfway decent job on making stuff look halfway decent under here. So I'm going to get that all cleaned up, get it routed into here. Got the new uh, breaker we're going to put in, and then we'll get this thing finalized, tested, and on to our next project. So right here is a knockout I can go ahead and pop out so I can run my uh, wire that I brought from the refrigerator in so I can get it wired into the breaker when I put this new breaker right there. So here we go. Just like that. I'll stick this through. Bring you back when I get further on. Okay, wires cleaned up. Look good. I just said, you know, it just kind of has to run over, then it ties in with the other ones, comes around. So I'll please tear. Got it all ready. I'm gonna get this back in place, screwed down, and then we'll uh, finish wiring it. So what's going to happen is, since this is already labeled the converter, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a convert or leave that as a converter refrigerator, and come down here and put uh, outlets, and that'll be actually right next to the GFI outlet. So that kind of works. So right here, boom. For this uh, model, there's the model number on this unit. And now, boom, here's a list of all of the manufacturer and type uh, breakers that work with this. So let's get her put in. Just that easy. Now, we'll go ahead and get some wires pulled off and moved around. So, this is the outlet circuit. I'm going to take that one. And put it right there. Make sure it's all the way in. And then, make sure you pull on it. Okay, you want to pull on it, make sure that's not going anywhere. Okay, that's down, that's out of the way. Now, converter, so this one is actually going to tie into, we'll tie the black into this, and this will come back actually right over here again. Look at that. Okay, so we can just put that back in place. In the 15. Put that all the way back in there. And tighten her up. So this wire right here is going to tie into that. That'll put the converter and the refrigerator on the single circuit. Take the neutral, we'll get the neutral blocked in over here and also the ground onto the ground block. Get this stuff cleaned up.
All right, she's wired in, checked. We know those are tight, those are tight, that's tight. It's in place. Okay, Shoreline plug back in. And yes, folks, I do use a heavy duty cord. It runs over to my house. It's on a 15 amp circuit. So I don't run AC. I don't run anything that draws a lot of power when I'm plugged in. The big thing that it does for me is it goes in. Keeps uh, my batteries charged. And like this right now, it keeps uh, our refrigerator warm. Now I hear the unit running. Okay, ah. so let me position you, make sure you see. Okay, I did confirm there was power out at the refrigerator because this breaker is on. I can hear the inver or excuse me, the converter it's fan going, so I know it's working on charging the batteries up. Now, I should not have any AC at any of the outlets that's not GFI related because this switch is off. I'm going to go test that real quick. Let's go find one. And there's one right there. Let's see if I can get you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. I am showing nothing. So now I'm going to go flip the breaker. This is the new breaker I installed. And we now show on 115. One. So we are showing that we got power there. Awesome. So let's go ahead and undo that. Get back over to the converter. Distribution panel. <laughs> okay, so you're back. So we know that this one now is our outlets for our trailer. This is a blank. We've got this one right here, which is going to be a converter and refrigerator. So off the tripod you go again. Okay, we're on AC. We're going to flip off. I heard the converter turn off and it's flipping over to going to propane. I hear the propane on. So let's do it again. Let's flip it back on. And green light, AC is working. Okay, so now we've got that part tested. Why don't we take the Jackery out or better yet, this is probably how we're going to end up doing it. For excuse me, this is about probably how we're going to end up doing it this weekend. We'll have the cupboard open. Here's my shoreline. I took this cover access off. I want to do some extra stuff. I want to gain some more room here. But I'm going to feed that this, the uh, shoreline back in here. I'm going to set it right here on the floor, and I'm going to power up the trailer, and we're going to check it out and see what happens. So, give me a second. I'll get stuff swapped around and we'll come back when I'm set up. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually plugged the trailer in. Boom, as is. Have all the breakers going. And I'm going to try to show you. I'm drawing 423 watts from the pack right now. That is, I mean, that's, I take that pack down, you know, a little over an hour, hour and a half. So we're going to come back up. We're going to go. One, two, three. We're going to shut that one off. You heard the breaker drop, or the, excuse me, the fan on the Jackery stop. Now we're down to a 17 watt draw. Okay, that's going to be, you know, well, let me do this. I'm going to, I'm going to go dark for a second. All right, I unplugged a USB light that I got in here going. And we're sitting now at a eight to 10 watt draw plugged in. 
And that's probably going to be because of the microwave being plugged in right now. Um, but as you can see, the microwave's on. Let's uh, scoot over here. And uh, let's go ahead and plug in our TV. You know, when it's a uh, hot afternoon, late evening, or something like that, we do like to sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy some TV. So, oh, there it is. So, we've got power at that outlet. Um, take my uh, battery charger for my uh, drill, my cordless tools. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and plug that in right here. Now that's on the GFI circuit. <laughs> there it is. It's plugged in. It's working. So. I mean, I could, we can go check all the rest of them, but uh, we've got, there's only two circuits for uh, the outlets now. That's the one I just created, and the one for the GFI. We know the GFI works, we know the one that uh, I created works. And, again, let's see. We are drawing 10 watts. Now, let me see if I can't find the microwave. I mean, 10 watts is down. <laughs> It's going to sit there for a long time. Uh, 10 watts, 1,000, uh, over 80 hours at 10 watts. You, you get an 85% efficiency uh, going from DC to AC. So that's why it's down a little bit. Uh, to get your full 1,000 watts, it's, you'd have to draw it all off of DC. Uh, or to get close to that. Let's put it that way. So... Let's do this. Microwave. Microwave is the next one down below the um, converter. 20 amp. Let's go ahead and kick that off. Microwave shut off. And we are now drawing 5 to 8 watts. Now, when you have the converter or inverter turned on on the Jackery, it's going to draw about 5 watts. So we've, we've, re, we've dropped almost all of our consumption inside the trailer to where we can maximize. I'm going to turn the microwave back on. Where we can maximize the, the battery on the Jackery without having to uh, try to supply power to the AC or, or, excuse me, to the refrigerator or having to go out there and unplug it every time or you know, trying to charge the batteries off of this. And if I wanted to eliminate that by turning the converter off prior, I lost those outlets. So it, it this works. This is a job almost complete. I gotta put stuff back together, clean up. But a winner in my book on the scale of difficulty. I'm gonna do scales of difficulty on some of this stuff. I'm going to say one to five, okay? I'm putting this at a three. You know, it could go a little bit more. The only reason I'm doing that is because of the electrical side of it. You need to know your electrical, okay? If you don't know it, you're not comfortable, please, please, please do not do this, okay? If you are, this is actually about a one star, really. I mean, it's... It took me more to set the cameras up, get the cameras, and video it for you, really, than it did for me to actually do the job. So, anyways, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, click the subscribe, and share the video. Happy camping!